Hello. Sa lesson natin ito, mag-aaralan natin ang factoring common monopel factors. Muli, I'm Sir Julius John, your Mathematics Aid Subject Teacher. How do we determine the common monopel factor? First, find the greatest common factor if it exists. Factor trees may be used to find the GCF of difficult numbers. Be aware of opposites like A minus B and B minus A. Or kaiba yon. So these two may be the same if we factor out negative 1 to any of the expressions. So dito, ang A positive, sa kabila ang A negative. Ito naman sa una, ang B ay negative, sa kabila ang B ay positive. So magiging pares lang sila kapag pinactor mo yung negative 1 doon sa isang term. So, magbibigay ako examples. Ito rin yung makikita sa modules nyo. 3x minus 12. First, find the greatest common factor between 3 and 12. So, ano ba meron sa 3? What are the factors of 3? So, 3 times 1. So, 1 and 3. Sa 12, ano naman? So, sa 12 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. So, 1 times 12, 12. Times 6, 12. Times 4, 12. So, greatest common factor, alin dyan? So, hindi naman 1 kasi pinakamababa ito. So, 3 ang greatest common factor. The greatest common factor between the two numbers is 3. So, yung 3 ngayon, the greatest common factor, i-divide natin dun sa 3x minus 2. Mangyayari, 3x divided by 3. So, 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1. So, matitira na lang ay x, 1x, x na lang while negative 12 divided by 3 so 12 divided by 3 is 4 happy the negative sign so kukopyahin lang natin yung 3 as the greatest common monomial factor times x answer natin minus 4 close parenthesis so sa pangalawang given meron naman tayo x squared y squared minus 3x y squared kukunin natin yung greatest common factor between x squared at x kasi sila yung same variable y squared and y squared. Saan magaling yung x squared? The variable x has only 1x while x squared has x times x. So, dalawang x and x squared. While yung x, isa lang ang x. So, ilan ang common nila? Isa. Tama. So, the variable y squared has y times y. So, dalawang y. While y squared has y times y dalawa rin ang y. So, ilan ang common nila? Dalawang y. So, the greatest common factor between the two numbers, variables, is x y squared. Siya ngayon ang i-divide natin dito sa ating y. Divide each term x y squared. So, x squared y squared divided by x y squared. So, mawawat x squared divided by x is x kasi 2 minus 1x isa na lang x y squared divided by y squared is equal to 1 kasi dalawa variable this is basically the uh, second power so wala na 1 na lang so matitira na lang ay x while negative 3x y squared divided by x y squared so 3 wala naman siyang 3 divide so pala siya x divided by x is 1 y squared divided by y squared is 1 so matitira na lang ay x minus 3 ilalagay mo lang sa labas yung x y squared open parenthesis x minus 3 close parenthesis last example 6 times x minus y plus a times x minus y so first find the greatest common factor between x times x minus y and a times x minus y. So, anong common sa kanila? 6 times x minus y has 6 x minus y. While the term a x minus y has a and x minus y. So, anong common sa kanila? Tama, x minus y. So, the greatest common factor between the two numbers is x minus y. Yun ngayon ang ilalabas natin. Lalagyan natin ng parenthesis. Divide each term to x minus y. So, 6 times x minus y divided by x minus y. So, 
alisin mo na, ikakancel mo yung x minus y, kasi 1 na sila, matitira na lang yung 6. While a times 6 x minus y divided by x minus y, so maka, uh, x minus y divided by x minus y, a na lang, kasi wala namang ibang i-divide sa a. So the answer is, so x minus y binomial, kaya ilalagay natin siya sa parentheses times 6 plus a, or pwede natin pagbalik ta rin, 6 plus a times x minus y.